In this video, I just want to show you some of the finer details that you can put on to the, the characters and objects that you bring in from the library. So for example, I've brought these three uh, characters, two people and a dog. And if I were to double click or right click on the dog, I would get the different properties here, one of which is the materials. So I can click on material and I can actually change the color of the dog. So if I want it, maybe I want it to be uh, black lab or something like that. Um, I can pick that color and you'll see that the dog's been changed uh, accordingly. And it's just his fur color. Everything else remains intact. I can also at this point give him an animation. I might have him say, let's say, um, chase the tail or something like that. Kind of cute. And so then once I do that and I click away from him, he no longer animates and he's just waiting for me to hit the play button. And same with these characters here. So I can double click on this young lady here and I can change uh, materials. And because these are built in uh, models from the Cospaces library, there's a lot of fine detail that you can get in here. You, know, you can change the hair color, the eye color, the pants, even the hoodie that she's wearing in this case. So uh, really, really fine level of detail for these, these particular characters. Sorry, we'll go back to materials here. And he has jackets and pants, okay? And these can also be animated. So I might give one uh, an action that is something like um, dancing. Maybe we'll make them both dance, let's see. <laughs> something like that. And if I hit play, you can see what's going on with these characters. So every character is a little different. They each have their own properties, but you can uh, double click on them and change those properties accordingly. 